Hey guys, thank you for being here with me today. I'm going to talk about stocking stuffers that I got this year for my kids. If you are new and haven't been around, I've got five kids. They range everywhere from 17 down to newly five but I've made several of these videos over the years, so I've got tons of baby, toddler, young kid, boy, girl, teen, all kinds of ideas like that over the years. I'll put those videos in the description box down below in case you're needing a few more age ranges that this video doesn't cover, those videos definitely will, and I just wanna go ahead and get started. My method for, you know, keeping all this away from my kids, it's in a giant laundry hamper that's been hiding in my closet. I'm gonna share some tips and tricks to make this whole thing a lot easier along the way, but a few things I will go ahead and note because for one, it's right on top. If you have pets, yeah, they don't really understand what's happening, but still think about your fur babies because I've got a few of the dogs things on top right here, so think of your fur babies. And the next thing that I will say in here, if I have any gentlemen viewers that you're supposed to be handling your wife's stocking and you haven't gone and done it yet, just do it. Seriously, don't let her wake up on Christmas morning to an empty stocking. That's horrible and don't make her feel that way, please. When I go shopping, I try to bag it myself and I'll put each child in their own bag unless it's stuff that I'm going to be separating between kids and I do have some of that I will show. But like one bag, this one right here is all Tristan. I already know that. But if I hadn't already done that, my first step would be to take everything out and put it in piles for each person. I found some of the cats too. But what I was saying about going ahead and putting it in a pile, don't wait until Christmas Eve to do this because then in the middle of the night when you're already dealing with all of the tree and everything else, then you're doing this, don't do that. Go ahead a few days beforehand or a week or two, like right now I've got 11 days until Christmas. All of my stuff I'm going to have in a bag per kid. So on Christmas Eve night, I could just grab the bag, grab the stocking, load it up and go. Instead of rifling through all of this and having the extra chaos, save yourself that trouble and prep it this way ahead of time. I was about to start sorting through Tristan's and then I remembered the stuff that gets split like this between the kids. This is also when I will go ahead and do that instead of waiting, like I said, I'm prepping their bags now. So these are for my four youngest. Tristan doesn't like these, so I skipped this for my 17 year old. But I do find cute things like this that are always in a group of five, and each one of my kids will get one. So I will go ahead and break these apart now and put them with their stocking. We're still kind of in tips and tricks areas, so I'm just gonna go ahead. For me, when it comes to my husband, I hide his stuff that I grab in with the kids' stuff because I know he's not gonna go digging through it because I film these. So he's not gonna go digging in there. That's where I hide his stuff. But remember to think of your spouse. And also, if there's anything you see that you want in your stocking along the way, grab it. Help him out a little bit. Help your significant other. Be like, here's a few of the items I want. I saw these when I was in Ulta. I've been wanting to try these out. It's a set of them Glamnetic nails. And then I saw cute little fuzzy stitch socks. You guys know my obsession with him. So I went ahead and I grabbed a few things for myself and my husband knows that they exist. So I just helped him a tiny bit. Overview of the first stocking. This is for Tristan, he is my oldest. He's 17, he will be 18 in March. Senior in high school. He likes monsters. If you don't let your kids have energy drinks, skip that. But this is something he does enjoy. As well as he likes to have gum in his backpack. This is the cute little elf we talked about. And then he likes these, but not a whole lot. So I still put them in there, but not a big thing of them. He likes Skittles. I got the Skittle Littles because they're so cute. And actually these, I like the proportion of flavor better, but I'll digress on that for right now. He loves Kit Kats. That's his favorite. So he has the candy cane because these are traditional in our stocking every year, as well as a big bag for himself. And then he asked for a bunch of like personal care items. So I kind of went a little, a little with that. So I got him one of these little Dr. Squatch. This is the soap he uses and my husband anyways, but I saw the Christmas scent as well as a soap gripper. He does like to trim his own hair, so a new pair of those. Hair ties, because he's got long hair. He goes through headphones like a crazy person, so he prefers these little cheap ones. So I got him another set of those. Chapstick, because everybody loves chapstick. And then these little facial cleaning pads. I got him a new set of those. And this right here is for the 17 year old. One bag now, and I will put every bit of this into this one bag. Be a little more careful with the elf. 
but then this right here is all I have to grab for Tristan on Christmas morning with his individual stocking. And my life just got a lot easier. One thing that you're not gonna see in the stocking, but you'll see it when you see my Christmas morning video, we do scratch offs in the stockings. My parents started with me and my brother when we were very young. I have since continued it with my children. Every year that they've been born, they get to scratch off a little scratch off. They enjoy it, it's fun, they look forward to it, and it's a tradition I've carried on from my childhood into theirs, and even my mom will still give me a Christmas card and I have a scratch off in it every Christmas morning. On to Aiden, he is 15 this year for Christmas, and I do have some traditional things that we do every year for him. I'll explain. For one, Aiden is my most difficult every year. He loves the sweets, not so much everything else except video games, but I don't wanna put video games in there, so I have to really, really think about this child every year but he got a plastic cane, Skittles is his favorite. He loves these little candy dollars as well as this little Nutella jar. That's a tradition. There's his little elf. I got him some sour warhead candies, big bag of Twix and a big bag of Rolos. He has self-control, so don't worry about giving him the big bag as well as the peanut butter M&Ms. These candies will last him until Easter, but I'm not worried about giving them to him because he can handle it. Now this right here is one of those power banks because his phone always dies. He's finally getting ready to get into shaving, but he doesn't like the traditional one. So I was hoping like one of these electric razors would be good for him. $10 for the PlayStation, some new body spray because he loves this smell, and then an eye mask because he gets migraines. So I'm hoping maybe this will help. Next kid is Brianna. She is 12 this year. She's in between the toy phase and the grown girl phase. So that's kind of what we're looking at here. She picked this herself from Aldi. She absolutely loves that pack. So she has that, the traditional plastic candy cane, M&M, as well as peanut butter M&M. And then she likes these weird slime liquor things. So I got her one of those. This is her elf. And then she got one of the Kinder eggs. She loves the freeze-dried candy. So I got her some of the freeze-dried Skittles. And then as far as her real stuff goes, it was all for like makeup and self-care is what she requested. So we have some shower steamers, three little face masks. This is a makeup removing balm. That stuff is so good. And then an eyeshadow palette. We thought these colors were really pretty for her, as well as two new brushes to go with this, mascara and eyeliner, and then some pimple patches. These ones are her favorite. And that is for the 12 year old. Declan is the next child, and I will go ahead and say I had to rein in his list quite a bit because when he wrote Santa what he wanted in his sock, <laughs> it was absolutely ridiculous. So this is actually a reined in version of that. He is a seven year old, almost eight year old. He asked for a nerd rope. This was his traditional candy cane. He wanted Skittles. He also wanted a slime liquor. He very much likes to copy Big Brother, so Aiden got both of these one year, and then he said he had to absolutely have them too. His elf and Kinder Egg, he is obsessed with high chew. We find them at Five Below. He loves them so much. And then this right here, he wanted a giant Fiero Rocher. He saw it last year, got it in his stocking last year, and now that's just gonna be another tradition because this was the first thing on his list, as well as reindeer poo, but I couldn't find the one that he was asking for, so I hope this will suffice, because it still says reindeer poo. And then he likes these little dig treasure chest things. He's really getting into art and sketching, so I thought this would be good, because it's like travelable. Loves lanky box, as well as these little fighting things. I don't really know what those are, but he does. And then a Five Nights at Freddy's thing to hang on his backpack, because that's something else he's really getting into. But there is the seven-year-old. This is the new Leaf five-year-old. First thing I will say, no, I'm not putting that whole bag in her stocking. I'm going to pull a few out, but she loves the tree specific, and that's kind of the only way you can get them is in that bag. So that whole bag is not hers, but she has some trolley trees. She loves all of the trolley stuff, as well as Sour Patch Kids, Nerd Rope, her egg, Elf, and then her cane is again Reese's because that's just her jam. That's why she's got the trees, but there's her sweet stuff. And then she requested very specific, like this was specific for the Dorables. 
This she loves jewelry and treasure chest and lip gloss. There's a little troll. This thing right here is those color changing bath drops and that's a cloud. You put them in and it kind of like showers into the tub. It's almost like a toy. I thought that would be really cool. And she requested a pink unicorn bracelet and some necklaces. This was about as best as I could do on that, but I still think she'll love it because it has rings, bracelets, and necklaces. But that is the five-year-old. There is one thing missing from Gwen's stocking, and that is I'm trying to find her some makeup brushes that are like glittery pink and like unicorn because she wants her room, instead of being a little girl room with the kitchen and everything, she wants a vanity slash desk for Christmas and kind of be a little bit of a bigger girl where she can draw, do her makeup, do her hair, be very girly and dainty. So I wanna get her some makeup brushes that she can play pretend with, but I just haven't found the set that I want yet. Here's all the extra bags that I've been able to condense down to one bag per kid, and there's Gwen's going in. So this can just be covered back up with the dirty shirt and stuff I had on top of it, and the kids will have no idea. Since I have the pet stuff out anyways, and I've gotta bag this up, I'm just gonna show you what it is. We have two stockings, but the boys do share everything we got for the dogs, as well as there will be three separate stockings, but again, we share everything with all three of the cats, but they each got their own little thing of licky sticks because this is the only treat I can get them to eat, except Weasley, he will eat the little hard crunchy treats, but otherwise this they'll eat. And then I bought two of these packs of cat toys out of Marshalls because the kittens really like the stuff like this, but Valera likes the stuff that has more of the danglies off it like this. So I just got two packs to split between all of the cats. And then for the dogs, Brianna saw these, thought they were adorable, so they have some little peppermint cookies. I got these and these out of Aldi, so they've got their treats right there. A new ball, it does squeak, I'm not doing that. As well as Hunter is obsessed with this specific kind of toy, so I got one of these. So that will go in Hunter's, this will go into Mako's, one of these will go in with each one, and this is probably going to be laying on top and they're just going to share it all. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm missing a bag somewhere because we buy each dog a bone, like a good size busy bone, so they'll go lay down and chew on that while we're unwrapping presents. So I'm missing a bag somewhere because they do each already have a bone. We bought them and I've been looking for these and it was in one of the kids' bags mixed in with all the extra stuff I had to sort out like the elves. I found the batteries I've been looking for. But that is everything, all my tips and tricks on how I make stocking stuffers so much easier. And I will say, if it's not something that your kid or your spouse or whoever you're putting a stocking together for is actually going to use, don't put it in there. Just save yourself the trouble and customize it to the person that you're actually doing it for. Not just because this is a cool toy this year, maybe my kid might like it, or I think that candy, my kid might like it. Don't do the gimmicky stuff. Customize it to who you are shopping for. As you can tell, some of our stuff is traditional. My kids know they're going to get it every year, like Aiden with that little Nutella jar, but he looks forward to that. It's not like a tradition I'm carrying on that he thinks is stupid or he doesn't use it. No, he actually really looks forward to that tiny little jar. But that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got some ideas for some stocking stuffers if you're still searching. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. If you haven't already and you love this video, go ahead, thumbs up, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.